Do you feel like it's hard to score touchdowns in Madden 18? Do you feel like it's hard to move the ball for your offense in Madden 18? If you do, then I want to encourage you to stick around and watch the entirety of this video because we're going to talk today about the reason that most people's offense is not doing well in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if this is your first time checking out one of my YouTube videos, I just want to encourage you to uh, hit the subscribe button below. That way that I can know that this video is helpful. And if the video is really helpful, then leave a comment at the end of this video so that you can join my email list. And in the email, if you join the email list, we're going to give you an offensive and defensive guide for free. Um, this is actually a really solid offense, really solid defensive guide that we're going to put out for you. So if you want that, you can leave your email in the comments. All right, guys, so offense. Why is your offense struggling? Well, here in a nutshell is what I want to do is is I want to say, I want to go out on a limb here, and, and, and I really want to just say that most people's offense, as I have a terrible fumble, um, most people's offense struggle because of a couple of things, and it's really can be boiled down to patience and fundamentals. It's the same reason that most people's defense struggle is that they're not patient enough with with the game. You try to force the issue, you try to force things in, and it's kind of like, um, you know, when you're building a house or anything, you can't force a board in. You have to cut it better. Okay, you have to measure it better. You have to plan it better. It's it's not going to work if you try to force something in. Oftentimes, it's going to break your ob your object. The thing that you are trying to force is going to end up breaking. And it's the same way in Madden with offense. Um, as you can see here, I'm down 14-0. He came down, drive, drove down, scored the first play, and then on the second play of the game, he got a really good hit stick fumble. Um, and, and, you know, now it's kind of like I'm up against it. Well, part of being a good Madden player and part of being a really uh, a solid offense is the ability to take it one play at a time, to calm down a little bit, to not get so over eager to score in one play because there's a lot of the game left to play. You have to understand Madden, even though it's a quick game, it's actually a longer game than you think. You get about 10 chance, you get or not 10, you get about six to seven possessions that I in an average game, maybe a little bit less depending on, um, who you're playing, but by an average, you get about, you know, six to seven possessions. So I have, I have seven more shot or six more shots to go down and score a touchdown. And I have six more shots on defense to stop him. So to get discouraged and to act like this is the last drive of the game. And if I don't score right here, I'm going to lose. It's not true. Okay. And, and a lot of people, um, in my opinion, if you were looking at one of the things that really could help a lot of people get better at the game it is if they could realize that, that that's reality. If they could realize that that is really the the, the really core, um, in a nutshell, thing that the pros do that are it actually is a lot better than what we do here um, as average players. I think the pros, what you can learn from them, is that they are really, really good at executing on this principle. They're really, really good at taking what the defense gives them. They don't get rattled. They don't. Um, and the ones that lose, the ones that lose, you know, in the first couple of, of games, they get rattled very quickly. They get rattled very quickly. And so it's, it's again, it's a little bit of an art form, but it's the ability to be able to take what the defense gives you. Here's why I say all that. And here's why I've kind of prefaced what I wanted to really talk about today with all that. Because for you to be successful in this year's game, you need a couple of things. You need, you need a passing offense. You really... Um, running the ball, it can be stopped. If people really want to stop the run, it can be stopped. Okay. Um, you first need a passing offense. The second thing that you need that is really, really critical is you need routes that go in different directions. So for me, that's the bunch, that's PA post, C spot, verticals, all of that stuff that I've talked about for years. Okay. But here's the really critical part with the offense. It really doesn't matter what offense you run. Most people's offense is, is very similar to one another, so even if they don't believe it or not. What matters is your ability to read the defense and not force things. We're often used to being able to force throws down the field, and it just doesn't work this year. Okay, It, it just doesn't. It, it, it won't work. It will not work this year to force throws. You can't do it. Um, the interception rate is too good. The defense is too good. And I think that's why a lot of people are struggling is they're used to being able to kind of force throws and at least bat the ball down. Now you're forcing throws and all of a sudden it's an interception going the other way, like right there. Um, but as you can see, that's what happens when you blindly throw and force throws. Okay. And again, for your offense to really, really be successful this year, 
Um, obviously, right now I'm having a pretty tough game. But for your offense to really be successful, you really have to be patient. You have to, because again, the game's not over here. If he if he scores a field goal, which would be smart, be run the ball three times, score a field goal, then then we're in trouble. We're in a little bit of trouble. If he throws the ball and I get end up getting a turnover, or if he goes for it, or those things are big, 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 big deals. But the important part is that you don't get frustrated. Remember, I get the ball at halftime, so I have an extra possession in the second half. You know, there's all sorts of things. And I've had two big turnovers. Um, and as you can see, this is a big deal for my, my defense because my defense can't fight two turnovers. One of them that the, uh, they scored. So, again, it's really important to not turn the ball over um, and, and develop an offense like that. I, I think right there, you know, I kind of forced the issue a little bit. I really wanted to throw that streak. And so I ended up going against what I just told you guys to do, uh, which is to not force the ball, not force throws. It's really critical, too. I think that most people recognize the value of running the ball, even though I said that this is a, a game that you, you have to have a passing offense, and that's just reality. You also, it's it's a really good time this time of the year to run the ball consistently. If you can run the ball consistently, um, you can actually have a lot of success in this year's game. Um, I, I found that most people, they say they can run the ball consistently, but they really can't. But as you can see what this guy's doing, running the ball, running the ball, running the ball, running the ball, and he's taking clock, he's taking possessions. Running the ball works this year. So, again, really for your offense to be successful, I think there's a couple things that I want to recap before we get out of here for the day. The first thing that I think your offense needs to do to be successful is to have a decent plan. Um, we've talked about that at nauseum on my YouTube channel specifically. I've talked about having a plan, having a plan, having a plan. You have to have a very – and not just having a general idea. I mean, it has to be the most specific thing on the planet. You have to have a specific plan, otherwise you won't you won't be successful. Okay. The second thing that you have to do is you have to have routes that work off one another, um, like Z spot PA post. Okay, from the bunch or bunch trail and PA post or you know, and you can fill fill in your specified um, thing. The and then the last thing you have to do is you have to be patient. You have to take what the defense gives you, and you can't get so discouraged. It's really really critical that. Um, my opinion, it's it's just so critical that you focus in and take advantage of what the defense gives you. You don't force throws, and I know it's really hard. I mean, I'm I'm sitting here telling you guys exactly what you need to do to be more successful, and I can't do it myself. Um, you know, and that's that's the hard part. That's the hard reality of the game that we're playing. It's it's very difficult, but if you consistently practice this, you get better with repetitions. It will help you in the long run. You'll get better. You'll become a better player. And you won't do the things that you, you know, normally would. So, anyways, guys, just want to leave you with that. I want to encourage you um, also that if you would like a free offense, it's not this vi what you saw in this video. That's in our premium membership, which you can check out in the description of today's video. But if you want a free offensive guide, we actually did something very similar to what we did in the premium membership, uh, but we made it available for free. And you can get that by leaving your email in today's video, leaving your email in today's video. You want to, you want to get the free stuff. Um, that's exactly what you want to do to get that. So um, anyways, guys, just